there are things that you can do, there are reactions that you can react in the face of problems that gets you the attention of God permanently. Now, in the perfect will of God, in the perfect will of God, God has arranged occurrences and events that will continue to unfold until his purpose is realized. In his perfect will, God has arranged occurrences and events that will continue to unfold until his purpose is realized. Say my amen. So in the perfect will of God, God has arranged when he will become a millionaire. In the perfect will of God, God has arranged when, when you will face betrayal. In the perfect will of God, God has arranged a time you will face rejection that is not unto death, but unto his glory. You see, sometimes people look at negative evidence and they start to question God because you have not studied the scripture or followed the ways of God. You see, when you, uh, when you study Peter and Jesus at the final place, at the final, that is Luke chapter 22, Jesus tells Peter that the devil has asked to sift you as wheat. And you know, he has been allowed. But when you stand, come back and strengthen your brothers. Jesus does not tell him that the devil has asked for permission, but I'm going to defend you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that is an event allowed, created by God. It will form the basis of Peter's ministry in future. It is going to happen. Peter cannot change it. He is going to be shaken, sifted by the devil. Permission has been granted. We know permission was granted for Job also to be sifted. That is why I say in the life, even in the perfect will of God, okay, there are occurrences and the events that God has prearranged that will continue to unfold until the perfection of God's will come to take place.